Imagine that one of your big decisions for the day involved choosing between driving your Aston Martin or your Ferrari. Whether to vacation at your home in Aspen or the one in Maine. Or how about your private island in the Bahamas? Imagine that for Christmas, your husband presented you with a 43 karat $1.8 million necklace. Now flash forward a few years. You find out that your husband of two decades has been cheating on you with a 20-something Russian mistress. And he not only files for divorce, but he tries to get away with not giving you anything. In short, this is what's happening to Marie Bosarge. It's a small part of a long, drawn-out legal battle between her and her husband, Ed Bosarge, the founder of high-speed trading company Quantlab. The Bosarge divorce case is pending in county court here in Houston, Texas. If it goes to trial, the outcome might rewrite the playbooks for any tight-fisted billionaires who would like to leave their spouses with absolutely nothing. Ed and Marie Bosarge were married in 1989. Things were very different back then. There were no diamonds, no mansions. Her engagement ring was cubic zirconia and their house was repossessed by the bank soon after they got married. But Marie loved her husband, and she supported his efforts during the 1990s in starting a new high-speed stock trading company called Quantlab, which pioneered the use of complex algorithms to squeeze money out of the stock market. According to court documents, the company has generated net profits of more than $2 billion over the past decade. Ed and Marie appeared to be living the good life together, Marie was especially fond of their 74-acre island in the Bahamas called Over Yonder K. They docked three yachts there. One was a 180-footer named after Marie and even featured a, a baby grand piano. In 2017, when Marie was served divorce papers in her London home, not only was she getting divorced, but she was getting evicted. Ed made her leave the London house and after that, he moved his Russian girlfriend in. Marie went back to her Texas home, a 26,000 square foot palace, and found out that she was getting kicked out of there too. By orders of the trust that supposedly owned it, movers emptied the house and even carted off her yellow diamond necklace. So why was this allowed to happen to Marie? Again, she had no prenup, no postnup, and Texas is a community property state where the spouse is entitled to at least 50% of the fruits of the other's labor. His efforts began back in 1983 with a trust set up by his former sister-in-law who lives in Namibia. That trust gradually morphed into about a dozen others via a process called decanting. This is where a trustee creates new trusts to hold the assets of old trusts kind of like pouring wine from one bottle into a variety of others. Over several decades, Ed allegedly orchestrated a murky constellation of asset protection trusts, domiciled in places as far afield as Malta, the Bahamas, the British Virgin Islands, and even South Dakota. Ed claims that neither he nor Marie actually owned the houses and yachts and jewels that they enjoyed for all those years. Rather, these trappings of glamorous lifestyle are simply assets owned by one trust or another. So she can't have any of them. Marie's predicament has gained local notoriety thanks to award-winning reporter turned licensed private investigator Wayne Dolcefino. He has been retained by friends of Marie to stir the pot, taking paparazzi-style video of Bosarge and posting it on his website. I had a Zoom call with Wayne recently. Let's just say the, the man doesn't hold back. Every time he had to show up for a deposition or to appear in court, he would show up in wheelchairs. And so we shot some video of him leaving his house to go to his deposition. and. The wheelchair was put in the car, right? But then Ed walked out totally fine, totally on his own power. You know, he wasn't running or anything, but he was. He walked just fine to his own car. 15 minutes later, they arrived at the location of the deposition and um, Ed Bosarge has to have the wheelchair brought to him. I think Ed Bosarge, when he wants to be the 
dapper playboy um, who's got the young Russian girlfriend out on one of his yachts. He'll show you that video, right? But when he but when he wants to do the other thing, right? I'm really old and feeble. He'll play that one too. So what happens next? There are numerous lawsuits still outstanding. And before COVID closed the courts, the Bosarges were headed to trial on Marie's complaint that Ed violated his fiduciary duty to her as a husband. She says, Ed should have looked out for my interests. Forbes reached out to Ed Bosarge's attorneys who declined to comment, citing confidentiality orders issued by the court. Without addressing specifics, his attorney John Pavlis, in an email, did call Marie a liar. Pandemic willing, a trial in Harris County Family Court in Texas will come in November. If Marie prevails down here, she could then take that ruling back to South Dakota courts and try once again to get Ed to open up his secret trusts.